Duke so great this year. Just eight explosive plays given up defensively. Of course, Mike Elk. And we're underway. Really very little breeze to speak of as the game begins, and it'll be a touchback. Their leading rusher at running back. Louisville crowds the line of scrimmage. Waters trying to get outside, gets very little. Tackled by Scott Elliott is the center. He's been out the last couple of games. Short pass dropped by Jalen Calhoun. They move the tight end, Jeremiah Hazley. Leonard was looking in his direction. Now he takes off running. Looks healthy there. Better than it was a week ago. He was a terrific athlete, was a great basketball player in high school, and he gets smashed back at the 30-yard line. So they... Leonard given plenty of time against the four-man rush, and it's incomplete. Trying to get it to Jordan Moore, the motion man on third and 18. They're trying to set up a screen. It's complete, even though it might have been deflected. Cardinals on defense. Porter Wilson, terrific punter. Four-year starter, Duke fourth in the country in net punting. Kevin Coleman, the return man. It was a pick six, was sacked four times. They run the option to start. It is Jawar Jordan, the big playmaker at running back. You in college football have. One of the best running backs in the country. And he has elusiveness to go with the break. Player, so getting some completions early could certainly help his confidence. They fake the run. There's Jamari Thrash, far and away their leading receiver. He has his first team all Sun Belt last year. Big hole, and Jordan needed to make one more man. If he didn't make it. Kevin Coleman. Is, and he's done a great job really playing to his player strengths. Out wide and caught. They put Joshua Lack now in motion to back up offensive lineman. Jordan did not appear to get to the first down. Jordan. Jordan. Touchdown. What an effort. Second possession for Duke. Down seven to nothing. Leonard on target. Jordan Moore stopped short of the first down. Talk ball with those guys. Leonard looked one way, throws over the middle. Jalen Calhoun has the first down. Blue Devils. Jacquez Moore stopped for a loss. Was a total offense. And to under 100 yards rushing. Leonard on target. It's Moore up the middle. And he stopped. They're five out of ten this year on fourth down. Fake by Leonard. Wanted the tight end and goes down. Here, though they think he's starting to get the hang of it at tight end on first down. Speeding ahead, Jordan. And that's. Jack Plummer was three out of three on the opening touchdown drive. Plenty of room for Jordan. Flag down at the 38 yard. Brings the ball back to midfield. Louisville on its first possession went 72 yards in 10 plays. Plummer wide open receiver and a first down. Garendo transfer from Wisconsin. Couldn't break free. No game. As they spread the field with five receivers, one of them open at the 30-yard line. It's Kevin Coleman. And while warming up in their last game at Pitt, and is out for the year. Here's Jawar Jordan. Touchdown. Four double-digit plays on offense already for Louisville out of the 16 they've run. Terry Moore bringing back the Travelstead kickoff, stacked up at the 21. They have zero yards rushing on six attempts. And they're a team that leans very heavily on the run, and Leonard goes down again. Mark will be high level. Yeah. 
Leonard takes off running all year in their first seven games. Uh, one play where Leonard went down on fourth down, scored a sack, deep throw on third down and eight. Is very passionate about football and Duke University. Bomb of a punt by Porter Wilson, a little too long. Jack Plummer, they run the option again. Maurice Turner. Back talk because they have to find a way to stop the run. A good start there on first and ten. It was Joey Gatewood who went in motion, the former Auburn quarterback. And it's Maurice Turner with the catch. Coach Brom says Plummer is streaky. And that's certainly been, as you said, Greg, his history. Had a mammoth game earlier this year against Boston College. They bring a blitz from deep. Turner ran away from it and got nothing. Driven back by Aeneas going into the bye week, as Jeff Brom said. It's a long two weeks when you come off a loss into the bye. Here's Isaac Garendo. Double digit plays already for Louisville. The ball came out late. Looked like he was down. Duke thinks it's a turn. Play fake. Plummer. Going for thrash in single coverage and it's incomplete. The first half, interesting that he hasn't been in there for a while. Low throw and an incomplete pass. Tried to get it to Chris Bell with Al Blades in coverage. Brady Hodges is the punter and he's the backup punter. Jalen Calhoun. It's on eight. Jaquez Moore to the 12-yard line. Jordan Moore, the motion man. Tough to tell if that was a busted play. Leonard, but not for the sacks. Jacquez Moore. Give it a nice pocket. Now pulls it down and runs for us. They're at their own 33. And the pass is caught. And a big game for Duke. Jalen Cal. Good hole on the right side and weaving through it, Jacquez Moore. Six and a half to go till halftime. Flag down and they stop the play for a false star. Duke today. It's been a penalty free game. Two flags enforced against Louisville. Leonard, again, given a pretty good pocket but couldn't find anybody. All for more than four and a half minutes. Leonard stepped up into the pocket, and it's been complete. The thing, difficulty finding open receivers. They keep it on the ground with Jordan Waters. Tough run, and then he got walloped at the end of it. At the look, <laughs> Kansas is very good. Excellent. What a coach Lance Leipold is. Jawar Jordan back in, and he gets 11, picking up right where he. Each team with all three timeouts. Here's Jawar Joy with the hold. <laughs> There's only so much. We're not going to let you give a minor cheap shot in the back if there is such a thing as a minor cheap shot. Here's Jawar Jordan. The backups for very little game. They wound up punting for the only time in the half. Terrific effort after the catch. Either. I mean, they have three guys right around the ball. Couldn't get them on the ground. Finally, Anthony Nelson, the Hartford transfer, did. Thrash on the slant. First. Here's Jordan. Down to the 30. Ran the play clock down to seven. A pump fake. Plummer got away from trouble and wisely threw it away. Talked to Tyler Santucci last night. The defense coordinator said, we need to dominate on the defensive line, and we should. That pass is incomplete. Travelstead, a 47-yard attempt. And it is good. Four-man rush, and they still pressure Leonard, who spun away for a moment and then fires it away. Dave Barton, their outstanding left tackle, hasn't even dressed. They're without their two best offensive linemen. One of the reasons why Leonard's been under duress throughout. Low snap, but Wilson handled it. Coleman. Tackled immediately, very well. Deals of the Florida State Seminoles. All Louisville in that first. Running back to open the second half. Sidearm throw. Plummer goes under center. 
Jawar Jordan. First and ten after a ten yard gain by Jordan. Look like even game going. Uh, why the thrash Talk to the head coach <laughs> when you're offering suggestions and that sort of thing. Bay okay. Packers. Jawar Jordan. Al Blake. They were both outstanding players. There's Jack Plummer. Four possessions in the first half if you take away the kneel down on the last play of the half. They had two touchdowns, a field goal, and punt. Group didn't seem like they were really lined up. Some movement along the line. They're three and zero at home this year. Dropped for a loss. Maurice Turner by who they believe for Wesley Williams. Pressure and down goes Plummer. Off the clock here in the third quarter with a 17 point lead. Maurice Turner. Maurice Turner gets some help. You're supposed to not factor in you know, previous years. It's supposed to be just about your body of work this year. And without two of their best offensive linemen, their two best offensive linemen. The deficit of the season, the previous biggest was at the end of the game 18 points against Florida State and Tallahassee. Leonard under pressure all day. Up for grabs. First down and 18. Leonard again surrounded by Cardinals. The Riley Leonard pressure behind him throws and it's almost crowd Dukes two out of seven on third down They try to run a wide receiver screen and it's intercepted Joe R. Jordan again runs along oh, Willie Tyler not on the field at the moment The handoff Under five minutes to go third quarter out of the pistol now They faked the flea flicker down in six Jordan not what we saw earlier in the year well, prior to the injury a lot of pressure all day long and when he has had time it disappeared he hasn't been able to find anybody open down the field throw and he just misses it by two or three yards that's interesting you mentioned the NFL that one's on target caught by Jordan Moore and he's chopped down after good pocket back time throwing deep and it is too long for Jordan Moore was stormed up the mark. Second and ten. Oh boy. Every oh, the, the percentage on the picks. I, the last time I looked, <laughs> well, we don't need to talk about that for a, for a smart guy. But I have a feeling he'll pick it up as the year goes along. Leonard lost the football. Okay, but, uh, <laughs> a cheater on the athletic trivia question, which is okay. Isaac Garendo, the Wisconsin transfer, taken out of bounds by Duke erupts offensively here in the fourth quarter. They have 107 yards of offense all day. Isaac Garendo. Hand off to Isaac Garendo. Full of uniform. He was incredible. That Might have been. <laughs> I mean, he was unbelievable. If you want to offer up a better one, <laughs> we'll take it. He did something that's only been done one other time. Proud here, Ellen N. Federal Credit Union Stadium, first year of that name. Thankfully, they abbreviated it. LN Stadium. Calhoun, the catch. And now, motion from Jordan Moore. They snapped it with four. And the play dropped for a loss. Well, you lose by 23 or 30. Oh, and now, of course, right on cue, it's not a very good punt either. Landed on the Duke side of the field. Two. Jeff Brom at Purdue said, hey, we think we have a pretty good quarterback here. You should take a look at him. He is sacked there. I think it's cool, too. It shows his maturity, too. You know, he didn't hold a grudge against Jeff Brom for going with Aiden O'Connell. He shows maturity. He said, hey, this is the guy. People, they needed a quarterback after Malik Cunningham left. Hodges punts again. He'd probably be earned the starting punter education and play high football. Well, that used to be Stanford. Duke can make the claim for that right now. Calhoun can't make the catch. Yeah, I mean, you look at the other. There are a lot of veteran players using up their eligibility this year for Duke. They're going to have a lot of people to replace, especially on both lines. Leonard launches one dig, and it is caught. I'm disappointed about the loss of Pitt. You know, they were a big favorite coming off the win against Notre Dame. That's Jordan Waters carrying the ball. He said it didn't form it to the year. Seven quarters. There's a ball down the sideline, batted down. 
by Devin Neal. Plays hard. He's very physical. Played three years at Baylor. Leonard in trouble. He took a hit up high, and there is a flag. The ball dropped by John Tavis Robertson. Graduated from Purdue in three and a half years. Maurice Turner got swung down. Degree the Masters in Sports Administration in December, and then go get ready for the NFL draft, and they think he'll coach someday. Maurice Turner, the ball carrier. As a matter of fact, Jeff Brom said he might almost be too smart. <laughs> right. Sometimes he. Tender. This is Grayson Loftus. Welcome to college football. He's hit as he throws. There is a flag down. And uh, they're actually going to. And he's actually in a rougher shape than Riley Leonard. So if we have to go to the backup, it's going to be Loftus. And that's a beautiful looking throw. And a catch by Jordan. And the 24th best pro style quarterback in high school football in the country last year. Pretty impressive so far. He was sacked four times. Hadn't been sacked more than two in any game coming in. Over the middle and almost intercepted by Trey Frank. Their side and a lot of credits deserved to Louisville with how they've performed. Durendo threw a pretty good hole. Against Jawar Jordan, which is nothing to be ashamed of. Durendo has the first down. He will be the second. Six straight quarters without scoring now for Duke. And uh, the rest of team, there's one thing we've learned this year is it's really tough to play them here at home. So the one road trip will be to Miami, which is an average.